I'm here today to dispel some of the myths and kind of the scariness that surrounds adjusting the truss rod of your acoustic guitar. Now, it seems kind of freaky to do this, but it's really not that bad. One thing that you have to remember before I even get into how to do this, small adjustments go a very, very, very long way. So keep that in mind as we do this. Now let's get started. The truss rod is gonna adjust the bow of your neck, okay? And a lot of times you hear people talking about action and how they have to adjust the truss rod. Well, think of it this way. The neck can be straight, or it can have bow in it, or it can have back bow in it, okay? The truss rod helps adjust this, okay? The neck is constantly under string tension. So here's kind of the rule of adjusting your truss rod. When you loosen the truss rod, the string tension takes over and puts more bow in the neck. When you tighten the truss rod, the truss rod takes over and removes bow from the neck. So it's, a, it's basically playing against the string tension. It's the truss rod versus the string tension. Tight truss rod, straight neck. Loose truss rod, bowed neck. Now, before we get started in adjustment, there's one more thing I wanna discuss, and that is looking at your neck relief. What you're gonna to wanna to do is hold one finger right where the neck meets the body. In this case, it's the 14th fret. Some cases, it's the 12th. And then you're gonna take another finger and hold it at the first fret of the same string. I usually choose the low E string. And then with a free finger, you're gonna kinda of have a look and see how much that string moves. If it moves a lot in between those two strings that you're holding down, that means your neck has a lot of relief and you can tighten the truss rod. If it doesn't move at all, then you're gonna actually have to loosen the truss rod. We're constantly trying to make the guitar play great. And in my opinion, the best kind of neck relief is just, just a subtle amount of bow because the string vibrates in an elliptical pattern. So you want that room so the string can vibrate freely and the fretted notes ring loud and clear. Now, let's get into adjusting the truss rod. First things first is you have to remove the truss rod cover if your guitar happens to have one. This one does, so I'm gonna take a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the two screws which will reveal the truss rod nut. Now this guitar, the truss rod nut is located here at the headstock. Other guitars, it's actually underneath the fingerboard on the inside. For example, Martin guitars, if you look at the first cross brace, there's a hole drilled in it. That's so you can access the truss rod from inside the sound hole, and there's actually a special tool to do so. This guitar is done right here on the headstock, so no big deal. So I've already showed you how to determine whether or not your neck needs more bow or less bow. Now we have to adjust. It's just like a screw. When you tighten the truss rod to the right, that's gonna remove bow. When you loosen the truss rod to the left, that's gonna add bow or neck relief. It's just like a regular screw. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. This particular wrench comes with the guitar, and whenever I do a truss rod adjustment, I like to do so under full string tension because Ultimately, that's how the neck's gonna live, and that string tension plays such a big role in neck relief, we need it there so we can adjust our neck accordingly. This particular guitar needs a little bit less relief, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the truss rod. So for this particular truss rod configuration, since it's here at the headstock, I'm gonna go ahead and place the wrench on the truss rod nut, and then I'm gonna move it just a quarter turn to the right. So remember, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, very, very small adjustments. I'm talking a quarter turn or less at a time. You'll even see results in just the tiniest move of the truss rod nut. So, as you're playing, if you notice a buzz on your guitar or something that sounds a little funky, immediately check your neck relief like I showed you how, and then if you feel like, gosh, it's a little shallow or the neck seems a little too flat, go ahead and loosen that truss rod nut and see if it helps the buzz. Beyond that, if the guitar is still buzzing, it might be time to take it to a luthier. If you're about to do a little acoustic guitar maintenance, make sure you have the right tools before you get started. I've compiled a list of all the tools that I own and use, some of which are surprising little tricks that I've learned from my luthier friends. To get the list of my top 20 tools for DIY acoustic guitar maintenance, go ahead and click the link here in the video or in the description, enter your email, and I'll send it to you right away. 